drawing on walls. Good times. Right. <laughs> uh, when I started drawing manga, I was around 12 years old. I'd been drawing since I was old enough to hold a pencil, but uh, my pictures were only ever really centered on whatever interested me at the time, like ponies and stuff like that. But one year I went to my granddad's house and watched a film, a Ghibli, a Studio Ghibli film, called Mononoke Haim, or Princess Mononoke in English, which some of you may know, some of you may not, and was inspired. I'd always had a wild imagination, you can ask my mother, and that mm -hmm. coupled with my love for drawing meant that uh, this film really appealed to me. It made me want to draw, so naturally I picked up a pencil and started to draw the characters, tracing them, deconstructing them, and then recreating them all by myself. I got more into it, and after pushing myself through fa several phases of wanting to give up, I found that actually I loved it. Drawing took me a world away from my reality and put me in a brand new place, which was comforting and an awful lot of fun. It made me very whimsical. Uh, I went through a challenging period in secondary school where I was having a tough time finding out who I really was, and I didn't have the right set of friends who really understood who I was, um, which was, you know, half of them, considering I didn't either. Creating their lives and their homes and their personalities was, it was almost as if I was in that world that I'd created. I could never complain about my family. They love, they love me and they have always supported me. And at home I have never been alone. But for some reason from a young age I remember being alone. One vivid memory that I have is asking to play Pokemon with some children in infant school. Because you always did that in infant school. And... I, uh, at someone at the back of the group said, fine, and ran off. And uh, when I tried to tell them what Pokemon I was, Articuno, they just ran off ignoring me. They didn't acknowledge that I was still there and that I still wanted to play with them. They just ran off. It wasn't until I met my now best friend, Alex, that my lack of friendship, or what I thought was a lack of friendship, started to turn around. He understood me, and along with many other people, including my family, helped me become who I am today. There are other events where I've been kicked out of friendship groups and told that I'm not liked anymore, but now I have true friendship, don't care anymore. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? That's why drawing really helped. I could vent my frustration and express myself through my characters, which is how she was created. Kaya C is her name and created mostly in the image of myself. I could relate to her background, her story and her success, the friends she gets after being alone for a long period of time. Kaya came to my head when I was about 14 years old, but she looked very different to how she does now. As with all characters, you can say that the first time you draw them, they're going to be absolutely perfect. Yeah, it doesn't work out that way, I'm afraid. Unless it depends on how clear an image you have of your character in your head. My development from then till now has been interesting, to say the least. Simple and not very detailed was my style. It's shocking, I know. But after three, a period of about three years a night drawing and being an antisocial daughter slash sister stuck up in my room, as my mum and my dad and my brother can tell you, spending about four hours a night, <laughs> Homework didn't exist in my world. Uh, my drawings have developed in leaps and bounds. Now, Kaya isn't the only character I've designed. There are others, and they all belong in a story called Ocean Spirit, which I decided I was going to draw when I was about 14. Uh, I, wanted, I decided that I wanted to do my own comic, because that's what some of my friends started doing, especially in college. It took a very long time to do, and everybody, and every time somebody asked me, can you explain the story, I used to sit there and think, I'm going to shoot myself now because it takes a very long time to explain and I'm not very good at explaining things. So <laughs> it's the same for this situation, so I'm just going to carry on and show you a few of the characters. Uh, we've got Kaya in the centre, an ocean behind her. You might get an idea of the connection between the two just by looking at them. And then you've got several of the group members around them, each with their own uh, personalities and all of them I designed myself. And these are some other characters. Uh, the top four are the good guys, or the main characters, and the others are all just guys in the team. And uh, now what I have for you is 
a drawing sample, and I'm going to draw Kaya for you. There we go. Right. I think it was when I was three. Uh, I went to my nana's flat. I think it was for my no for Christmas, and um, I got two presents, which was uh, felt tip pens and a sketchbook. I literally didn't look at another present. Once they gave me that, I sat down, and that's all I wanted. My mum tried to take the pad and pens off me and gave me another present. I threw the present on the floor and tried to reach for the pens and pad. <laughs> oh, from that moment on, I think my parents always knew that I was going to do a career in art because from that moment on, I never put down a pencil or a pen. Art was very much a part of me. I think I got it from my mum. She's very creative. She used to do a lot of creative stuff when she was younger. In fact, most of my parties were art parties growing up. The whole key to the to manga drawing really is practice. I have lots of people saying, oh my gosh, how are you so good at that? And, uh, well, it's because I practice. I mean, I, I can spend up to three, maybe four hours every afternoon just sitting and drawing. But whenever you can actually sit and practice, it's useful. I once heard that if you really want to get to know your characters, draw them in every stage possible. You know, draw them as, you know, basic naked people, because Knowing the most intimate details of your characters usually means you get a better understanding of how you want them to look, how you want their personalities to be. You know, just draw them as, in as many ways as you think you possibly can because it can help your understanding of your own characters immensely. I, I love to sit and draw because it just makes, it just makes my mind shut down. Because I don't remember thinking of anything when I'm drawing. Most of it's just sitting there, you know, it's probably the, I don't know, rhythmic drawing or something that just makes me concentrate and makes me not think about anything. It's, I, I love it. It's great. It's part of the thrill of drawing for me.